Good morning, everybody. What an unbelievable event. You know, 14 years ago, Rotary held its first international assembly right here in San Diego. And I was sitting right where you are as a district governor elect. I was nervous than about the responsibilities ahead of me and the challenges of leadership. And today, we are in 2020 at the final IA to be held here in San Diego, and I'm still somewhat nervous. <laughs> the responsibilities are larger for me this time but so are the possibilities. I'm so excited to share with you all the opportunities that lie in front of us. At home, you are a part of a team that works together year to year, making sure that your district's most important work does not end with a new year of leadership, but continues with greater emphasis. I'm also part of a team, and I will be proud to continue President Mark Maloney's strong commitment to growing Rotary. <laughs> However, I will not be asking you to grow by specific numbers. For a very simple reason, every time that we have asked to grow by specific numbers, we have failed. Instead of focusing on numbers, I want you to think about how we can grow Rotary organically and sustainably. How can we keep our current members and win new members who fit to our clubs? And then, how can we make our organization stronger to face the challenges before of us? We must rise to this incredible moment when we are recognized worldwide for our efforts to end polio and fix our roof while the sun is shining. In many ways, Rotary is in a wonderful shape. We are financially strong still. Our foundation is recognized as one of the world's best charities. Our global grants continue to grow, and we become a more international-focused organization every year. And we are also evolving in interesting ways. There are now more Asian Rotarians than North American. But there are risks if current trends continue, especially in areas where we see an aging population, Rotary is declining and overaged. We cannot stand still and be satisfied with everything we have done. The digital revolution has affected us much harder than we anticipated. Others have faced this challenge before us and fared poorly. I had an opportunity to speak recently to Rotarians in Rochester, New York. A former executive at Kodak was in attendance, and he told me that they all knew that photography would make the transition to digital eventually. They just never expected it to happen so fast. And they went from being the worldwide leader in their field to a company in bankruptcy in just a handful of years. Time will not slow down for us, but we will not let rapid change defeat us. We will capture this moment to grow Rotary, make it stronger, more adaptable, 
and even more aligned with our core values. In Germany, we see Rotary as a community of shared values and personal integrity. Friendship and networking draws people to Rotary. And because of that, we have strong clubs from which we generate strength for our service. And the four-way test helps us to make objective decisions. It is all about self-reflection. Sometimes you don't even know if what you see with your own eyes is true. But the four-way test allows us to ask ourselves, am I being honest? And am I doing the right thing? That is important. And if we are being completely honest with ourselves, and when we look ahead, do we think Rotary is doing enough to face the challenges of the future? Rotary has to change, and Rotary will change. And even if some fellow Rotarians will complain that it does not look like their old Rotary. We have to change. As Paul Harris said, we have to be revolutionary from time to time. And now, now is the time to be revolutionary. One way that we will do this is by creating new club models and rethinking what it means to be in Rotary. Young people should be the architects of these new Rotary clubs. <clears throat> for many younger people, sitting down for a meal together is not the best way to meet. Just because we have held meetings this way for over 100 years does not mean it is the only way. Suzanne's club, for example, is a local e-club. They meet online once a week, communicating on a smartphone app, and they meet in person once a month. And her club ranges in age from 27 to 70. I love this kind of diversity of generations in our Rotary Clubs. That is the ideal, a multi-generation club. Some clubs will succeed in doing this, but only if they, meet, if they meet the needs of younger generations. We have to be open to new approaches. And creating new, unique clubs for younger people that is just part of the solution. You have the power to implement them. It will up to you to make it work. Forming new Rotary Clubs is the distinct responsibility of the district governor. Rotary International has already embraced change, but now it's up to you to make these new clubs a reality. And by the way, one way that we can listen to younger generations and make existing club membership more appealing to them is to focus more on the environment. Recent disasters, such as the bushfires in Australia, underscore the importance of taking strong action. Our last three presidents made a strong case for Rotary doing more to preserve the environment. There is so much we can do ourselves. Cutting down on our use of plastic, not overly cooling 
or heating our rooms and offices, not driving too fast on the German Autobahn. <laughs> we are already building in environmental protection and sustainability in our service projects. But we have to make these issues more a priority. Younger people are waiting for us to inspire them to action. Young people today enjoy service and want to be active in it. We see this in Rotaract, and Rotaractors are now like us. We are all part of Rotary International. We have done away with this artificial age limit. Let Rotaractors decide what kind of Rotary experience works best for them. And anyone who has worked with Rotaractors knows that these young people are bright, energetic, and they get things done. Rotaractors are faster, more effective, and impatient. And their impatience is a virtue. They want to see results now, and they will do the necessary work to get it done right away. Their impatience and persistence makes an impact. Nine years ago, Rotarians had an idea for a new project with the Berlin Zoo in Germany that one weekend a year puts on an amazing show for children that encourage exercise, reading, and healthy eating. And while Rotary Club's still thinking and discussing, Rotaractors just decided to start it. And now, all 36 Berlin Rotary and Rotaract Labs taking part and make thousands of underprivileged children happy. So let's take up the challenge and open our doors for Rotary and for Rotaractors and young professionals. But let us also remember that there is no wrong age to become a Rotarian. There is no wrong age to become a Rotarian. Every age is welcome. Every age has something important to contribute. <laughs> and as we reach out to young Rotarians, we will not leave others behind. But what about existing clubs? Some parts of the world are already doing a good job with member engagement and retention, while other parts of the world need to do better. To do that, we are going to have to choose new members carefully and ensure that they are the right fit to the right club. And we make sure that the club meets their expectations. Please, take it seriously. And take your time. You are choosing new friends for life. We need to stop thinking of new members as people we can mark down as statistics and then forget about. People who leave Rotary talk, and others listen. And that affects our image. We want every new Rotarian to be a lifelong Rotarian, a friend engaged in Rotary. Every new member changes us a little bit. That person brings a new perspective, new experiences. And by the way, I'm a great fan of our classification system. We need to embrace this constant renewal. We will grow stronger as we learn from new members and take their, their experience and knowledge. And that is why we need more women in our Rotary Clubs 
and more women in leadership positions. And also we need to remember that meeting new people and making sure they enjoy their membership is fun. We enjoy each other's company and have a great time doing whatever we, knew, we do. We need to embrace this joyous experiences. And the best way to have fun is to be together. Whether it is in a large gathering like this assembly or the convention, at a service project, or in our regular meetings. And being together makes us more effective. And it should not be a surprise that our vision statement begins with that word. Together, we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe in our communities, and in ourselves. And the vision statement forms the basis for Rotary's new action plan, which you will have the critical role to implementing. This new action plan, it's all about growing Rotary and helping us to adapt to the digital age. The time is now to take this action plan and run with it. Over the next five years, this plan will increase our impact, expand our reach, enhance our participant engagement, and increase our ability to adapt. I would like every Rotary Club to have a strategic meeting at least once a year. Each club should be asking where they want to be in five years and know what value it brings to their members. What makes Rotary so unique and worth sharing with the world? What unique opportunities do we open for you and for the people we serve? We love people. And wherever we go in the world, Rotarians becomes our best friends. And you wish to have more time with them. We are people from different backgrounds, different generations, languages, and cultures. And even the way that we live Rotary is different, country to country and club to club. And that diversity makes us great. We are held together by the values we share. We are all bond in friendship, and we all believe in the four-way test. Rotary is experienced a different way everywhere. But the four-way test remains the same for everyone. Rotary provides us opportunities to service projects that can be performed and completed by us. And these projects are meaningful and sustainable. In Rotary, we don't just donate the money. We also perform the service and see the lasting impact of that service firsthand. And that is unique. Rory has given many of us the opportunities to travel the world to help to put our service ideas into action. And Rotary also provides opportunities for leadership. All of us have taken on great new responsibilities. This is our opportunity to strengthen our network. Not for our personal glory, but for the good of Rotary. Creating new pathways to leadership for others is a true Rotary ideal, and it will make you a more effective leader.
We are all here because we believe in rotary opportunities and opportunities for others and for ourselves. We believe that our acts of service, big and small, create opportunities for people who need our help. We also know that every act of service will inspire and change us. And here are four stories that illustrate this idea. My year as district governor concluded with me, filled with newfound humility and awe for the service Rotarians in my district provide every year. From an underfunded and forgotten talent school to the promise of a normal life for children with heart disease or cancer, to the right of clean water in schools, Rotary provides opportunity and gives hope to those who may have none I found it in the eyes of a stranger, a connection to the world that I could not find in books. It came from a mother who offered her child to be vaccinated against polio during an NID in India. The gratitude in her eyes spoke volumes. Two drops and a smile. It changed that child's life, but it also transformed mine. Rotary gave me the opportunity to create lasting change, leading to peace of mind within. At the age of 28, Rotary gave me the opportunity to participate in a GSE program. There, I met a professor who offered me a scholarship at the Johns Hopkins University where I could enhance my clinical research skills and earn a PhD. When I returned home, I was asked to join Rotary and a whole new world of service opened for me. For the last, part, for the last 26 years, I have taken every opportunity to volunteer on medical convoys. But my greatest Rotary opportunity was when I was a Rotary actor. That was where I met my wife and the love of my life, Rania. I was adopted at birth, raised in a small family of four. In high school, I hid in a bathroom stall many days, too afraid to face the bullies. For years, I was content to follow, never realizing my untapped potential within. Rotary gave me the opportunity to be a citizen of the world, to lead, and to stand on this stage with confidence and strength. What opportunities does Rotary have for me next? I don't know. But because of Rotary, I'm ready. So, as you can see, Rotary is not just a club that you join. It is an invitation to endless opportunities. It opens opportunities to serve. In a project as big and historic as N Polio Now, and also in a small community project where you just plant a tree and it opens opportunities for you to live a richer, more meaningful life with friends around the world based on our core values. As Rotarians, we are blessed. 
to take on leadership roles at this wonderful moment for our organization. Everything we do opens another opportunity for someone somewhere. And therefore, the theme for our year is Rotary Opens Opportunities. Mm -hmm.